All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we got this new event right here. Um, let's go ahead and flip over. This is the Rampaging Power Destructive Instinct. So we can get awesome rewards. I mean, I saw that the, the rewards overall are fine. Um, at the wallpapers themselves, I don't think are very good. We'll see once we finish. Um, deal a great amount of damage. Uh, obtain the three special wallpapers. Other awesome rewards. Uh, this battle lasts eight turns. Enemy's defense will be lowered with each attack received. Launch multiple attacks. Aim to deal a great amount of damage. Okay. Uh, nuking characters? Yeah, nuking characters, yeah. Okay, can't do it. Pure Saiyans is what we want to use. I feel like this is going to be pretty clear what we want to do. We probably want to come in here with uh, Broly's and stuff like that. Um, let's go and take a look here. So here's the actual event. So beat it. Um, beat it with... Pa oh, Paragus. Okay. Uh, beat it with a movie boss's category character. Uh, 4 million damage, 7 million damage, 10 million damage. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99. Okay. Uh, let's just use, um, Int Broly. Remember, he does lead Revenge, so we could get Paragus on here. Um, Paragus will be good for what we want to do, which is deal massive, ridiculous amounts of damage. Yeah, um, I, the court, I, I don't know. Um, Toon Rami actually recommended an alternative strat. I'm gonna set it up tonight, a different way to try and record, because I can't, I, dude, since I got the new PC, I, it's just a disaster. Look at this. I, I don't know what it's doing, man. Please. All right. Uh, okay. okay, hold on here. Let me build the team. We'll come right back. All right, guys. Let's hop in just like this. Um, I think that this is going to be a pretty good setup for us. Um, that should allow us to cook pretty well here. So the goal here is we just have to do a lot of damage, right? Um, in order to actually get uh, the missions done and the wallpaper 99 million damage. I don't think this is really going to be too much of a struggle or anything like that. Um, considering... Uh, okay, is there a specific enemy we should go for? I, I mean, the hardest hitters we have are going to be tech. So, I, I guess it, it did say, what, the defense lowers as we hit the character. So, let's just hit Goku. Um, and then we'll probably just try and build up, um, Carnival Tech Broly. It probably will be easy to do the 99, the 99 million, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we got Paragus. Paragus will help us, um, because he is going to be a massive support type unit for Broly, of course. So giving Broly the big extra, you know, support should help us a lot. Obviously, we got Physical Kid Boo, um, who's going to be able to serve the same role. Um, I, from what I've seen from people talking about this event, it doesn't really seem like people have had uh, struggles or issues or anything like that with it either. So, I don't think we're going to have problems. I mean, let, let's just, let's see. Let's see. So, remember, I mean, it's I, I saw a lot of comments in the Super Easy A Broly video that said, hey, the audio sucks. It's like, well, yeah, no, I know that. No, that, that's not what I was like. I saw a lot of comments in the video um, <clears throat> talking about, oh, wow, I, I didn't realize that a character that has to do super attacks, they build up from hitting every single enemy. But I I mentioned that like 50 times throughout the video. <laughs> right, so it's like, there we go. I know people aren't listening when I'm fucking talking, man. But, um... Yeah, uh, an AoE character who AoE supers, if they have, like, a build-up from doing super attacks, they'll build up with every single one of their AoEs. Evolution Blue Vegeta works like that. Piccolo Jr. works like that. Cell Max works like that. This Tech Broly works like that. And then Super Easy A, STR Broly, all those characters work like that, right? When they have an AoE and then they have to build up by doing super attacks, if you get a chance to utilize their AoE you're going to be able to build them up really, really, really fast. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is good. We will be able to get a stack here uh, with Easy A Tech Broly. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, remember, Easy A Tech Broly, his 18 key super attack, of course, does give him a stack. So wait a minute. Is this all this event is? Is that these jobbers just sit here and do nothing? And then we are eventually just going to be doing a lot of damage to them? 
Now remember, I we can pop in Broly's domain. We'll pop it. Oh no, we got it already. We okay, we did it. Oh okay, so all this takes is like at the start of the fight, easy attack Broly supers, and we have it. Okay, okay, yeah, this is pretty easy. Now I I think that the event, um, I mean I, this will be easy for players to do to get some nice rewards and stuff like that, which is fine. I do think <clears throat> my idea was probably a little bit better, which is just that, remember, as of right now, there are global exclusive uh, wallpapers, and there's JP exclusive wallpapers right now. Um, I felt like it would have been better if Dokkan would have just made the, like, th this event would have been good to give global the wallpapers that they don't have that are only on JP, and then to give JP the wallpapers that they don't have that are only on Global. I I really do wish that they thought of the sync as a way to make the games the same rather than just have stuff come out at the same time. Because it's like by having issues on one version but not the other, it's just go only going to increase frustration about the game. Look at last night, right? The Supreme Magnificent Battle Stages were announced to come out at, you know, the, the, the 2 a.m. my time on the 25th, right? And that was announced many days ahead of time. Yet Dokkan forgot to do the data download on Global. So Global didn't have the stages live at 2 a.m. And then, oh, whoops, we got to actually do the data download and add the stages. Like, shit like that shouldn't be happening. Should not be happening, Dokkan. That should not be a thing. Yeah, okay, so so we can see how, like, they're not really taking 99 million quite yet. We got to do a little bit more attacks, but whatever. I mean, we easily got it. I would think a lot of people are going to have that easy attack Broly. Um, I mean, I'm, maybe if you're, like, a super new player, he'd be a little bit tougher to have copies of. Oh, hit him, but then just some additional super. Nice. Um, but, yeah, that, that easy attack Broly, I mean, that's going to be a pretty easy character for players to have. Alrighty, so I guess the rest of this event we're kind of just blasting away at these enemies that don't really do anything. Yeah, the worldwide ended up being a huge dud towards the end. I mean, people were really mad the whole celebration, but I always like to take a waiting approach. <laughs> like, let's let's wait and see, because we don't know like what part two is gonna have, what part three is gonna have, you know, how good shit could potentially be. But um, <clears throat> yeah, just a huge fail, I would say. Um, I think at, at, at the, the bare minimum, the celebration would have been much better had we had, I think, at least one more EZA. I still think we could get, like, a like an e, uh, LR EZA as part of, like, a you know, the last rewarding bonus at the end of the Worldwide, which they always do. Um, we'll see about that. That would be next week. Um, but they could have done an EZA similar to they did last year. It's like, I call them sub-EZAs, but, like, it would be, like, its own EZA event, right? So, so what I'm talking about is they could have given us, um, like, a, an EZA event that would have EZA the Tech Krillin, the Physical Super Saiyan Gohan, and then the SDR Trunks, right? Boom. Those three could have gotten an EZA. They would have been very helpful to teams right now. It's funny, but they did a really good job with the, the Broly team. Um, I mean, we could still certainly use a little bit of help to either team. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst deal ever. But um, those super class characters, 88 for Broly, okay. Those super class characters would be incredible uh, for like that Goku, Gohan, and Trunks team. It would be so massive, actually. So, uh, but yeah, they didn't do that. And then obviously the fights needed to be tougher. Um, a lot of people also were saying there was no content. That's not true. There was actually a shit ton. Of, there was a massive amount of content. Um, but it's just that all the stages were shit, right? That, that, that's, that's what the issue was. It's not that there was no content. It's that it was all shit content, basically. Just stages to come in. You know, we put our deck on the stage's forehead, and then we walk out. That's basically all it is. Uh, like, it's great. Like, Red Zone Broly might actually be tougher than, like, the, the fights we got last night. The Gohan stage, and then the Trunks and Goten. I got, bro, I got no idea what they were doing with those stages. No clue. What were they doing? How, like, Trunks and Goten, like, 
it's like, I don't know, like, the Trunks and Goten Sage, like, they hit so weak in there. And it's like, I... Uh, they're scared of the bomb mechanic, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the bomb mechanic could be interesting if it was in, like, an actual tough fight. But at the same time, I, I mean, I look at the bomb mechanic as a benefit to myself because it's like, dude, like, oftentimes with characters that have HP conditions, you know, like the Vegitos, I find that very difficult. But, I mean, if we're going to have, like, these bombs on the field and we could self-damage ourselves... That does seem kind of intriguing. I mean, an, an option to self-damage ourselves is pretty interesting to be able to get some of these transformation characters out, right? Like, again, the Vegito Blues and stuff like that. I, I, I kind of really want it. Uh, let's just get Ajo Bully out, whatever. Um, and we'll just go ahead and just smack on these guys. All right, we got, what, two more turns to go. Yeah, I guess this isn't really the most... Um, exhilarating event but whatever here let's do this uh keep in mind by the way that tech broly uh the easy a tech broly i believe the way he works um is that remember he gets a what is it a guaranteed additional super against multiple enemies and then it's uh is it an additional the 50 percent chance to be super against one enemy i think that's what it is um if you start the turn against multiple enemies he'll you know proc his guaranteed additional super against two enemies but then if you kill one of the two and then there's one, he would then proc the other part of his passive um, and get the uh, additional, the 50% chance to be a super. Um, so, like, he does have that capability. We're not going to see that here, but, yeah, you guys get it. All right, so now EJL Broly. Maybe I shouldn't have done this because now we're just going to see him AoE all these guys a million times over. Let me just double check that Broly's... It, it's... It's... Okay, so... Against one enemy, he gets four key and additional. That's a 70% chance of being a super. It's a 70% chance. Okay. I mean, that's obviously a lot better. Yeah, easy attack Broly, definitely pretty good. Definitely pretty good. Okay, sure, sure. So after this, we'll grab all of the rewards and uh, we'll take a look at the wallpapers. I, I, there, I do think, like, the problem with these wallpapers that they give us, it's like Broly in front of some destroyed stuff. I think giving us one of them is good, but, like, it just looks very um, low effort, right? It's kind of the issue. It's like, especially in a celebration where people are already very upset. Um, and, I mean, at this point, I would say justifiably so, of course. Um, but in a celebration where people are already upset, and then it just <laughs> seems like this, like, very minuscule effort on just like the copy pasted broly wallpapers is hilarious man. i i made a tweet before i went to sleep earlier um asking people to give me their thoughts and i'll do kind of like a community reaction i mean most people everyone is gonna have kind of like very similar thoughts though like i don't think we're gonna see uh, like I, there's not gonna be i think a ton of people going oh actually the celebration was a 10 out of 10 i have seen quite a people bit of people saying they think it was better than last year's celebration and I think that's BS. I mean, but keep in mind, I have been battling with people for a year that I think people overrate the Fusion Zamasu fight. I, I still... People are still... I open Twitter, and they're still talking about the Red Zone Fusion Zamasu fight. I, the way people act like that fight fucked their mom is crazy, man. Like, it's just... It's a Red Zone fight, man. It's all, it's all good. Like, just because people weren't able to use their shitty characters against Fusion Zamasu doesn't mean it's the worst fight ever known to man. Okay, I, Red Zone Broly forever will be a thousand and million times worse. Million times worse. And I I will very much vehemently disagree with people who go, oh my god, I hate loading into instant death. When we talk about in comparison to like a 25 minute run inst into instant death is way way worse man way worse every time absolutely like like do some challenge run against the goku and frieza fight and get like 30 minutes in struggling to get past like all the nonsense and then like goku and frieza just one shot you with their six million super that is way worse dude way worse all right so there we go um 
We should have gotten all the missions done pretty easily there. We had the movie boss's character. We got the 99 million damage pretty easily. I don't think this will be tough for anyone to do. All right, loading, loading, loading. I'm pausing. There we go. There we go. Yep, 14 missions. All missions are donezo. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and grab these bad boys. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a look, man. Let's... Uh, Let's take a glance. So there we go. So we got the three wallpapers, and you guys can see. Oh, eight Kai's? Okay. And then five Dose and Kai's ten stones. Yeah, that's not bad. The rewards are fine, for sure. All right, so let's head over here. Uh, wallpapers is this one right here. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's here's kind of the issue, right? It's just they look like it's just like the same thing. I do think that... Okay, so there's that one. Okay. Please, dude. I, I'm just trying to put wallpapers on. All right, let's try this. Th this one sucks. Ah, uh, uh, that's kind of like fodder. Now, this one is the best. Like, I think they could have added this one right there. That I think that one is good. Right? Like, it's like he blows up the planet and he turns around and he's laughing. That's Broly, man. That's, that's Broly style. Um, I always prefer, maybe I'm a little bit boring, but I always prefer just doing the basic one. I've never really used the wallpaper as much. By this point, we certainly do have a lot of wallpapers. We got a lot of really good wallpapers, too. Still bothered that this one is not centered, by the way. How do they do that? Like, <laughs> bro, please. Why is that not centered? That that bothers me. That's, that's frust true frustration right there. Yeah, all these different celebrations. Yeah, so we had a couple of wallpapers last year. Obviously, this one is much better, I think, than the wallpapers we got this year. Th this one is good. I do like this. Th I think this second Broly movie poster, this one's not bad. Um, that That's the actual Japanese poster for the second Broly movie. Uh, they did kind of make this one a little bit weird. The first one, though, no Piccolo. Yeah, okay. Well, all right. Uh, there we go. Um, let me know what you guys think um, about the event. The Worldwide Download Celebration. I'll do a community reaction. I made a tweet about it. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all next time.